Remember forces can do work. And we use the letter U to represent work in this course. So this represents the work done from one state one to state two is equal to, if the force is a constant, we have this term and we don't need to integrate, cosine theta times S minus S naught, where this term represents the displacement or the distance that we're pushing with this force. And theta is the angle between the most direction of motion and the vector of the force. Okay. Not only can forces do work, but moments can also do work. So if we want to write the work for a moment, we can write the work from 1 to 2 is equal to the integral of the moment with respect to d theta here. So we can integrate this from theta 1 to theta 2. Now most of the time these moments will be a constant from theta 1 to theta 2. They won't be changing. If they are changing we need to integrate. But if they're staying constant we can pull that outside of the integral and if the moment is a constant we just get theta 2 minus theta 1. Moment that's a constant, a theta 2 minus theta 1. So when do, would we use this? Let's take for example if we want to know the work done if this beam that's fixed on this end and we apply a constant force to the end of it and the distance that that is away is d and we want to know the energy as or the work being done from its state right now until it's 90 degrees so 90 degrees would make it vertical so with this we would have theta 1 is equal to 0 theta 2 is 90 degrees but we would put in theta or pi divided by 2 radians we want to put that in radians and the moment here which is going to be a constant is f times d so if the work from state 1 to state 2 would be f times d is the moment and then we would multiply that by pi divided by 2 minus 0 and that would be the work from 0 degrees to 90 degrees.